Welcome to this tutorial. Here we'll talk about geometric progression, also known as exponential sequence. We'll start by saying what a geometric progression is. A geometric progression or an exponential sequence is a sequence with a common ratio between consecutive terms. Remember that in our definition of a sequence and series, we said that a sequence is an orderly arrangement of terms with a common relationship between consecutive terms. So for an exponential sequence or a geometric progression, the common relationship that exists between consecutive terms is the common ratio. Okay? Remember for an AP, we said it's the common difference. Here, we are talking about common ratio. One, three, nine, 27, and so on and so forth. Okay? One, one over three, one over nine, one over 27, and so on and so forth. Minus two, one. So, for example, how do I know that each of these sequences are exponential sequence? It is the common ratio that will tell me whether it is a geometric sequence or not. How do we calculate for common ratio? Common ratio is second term divided by first term, third term divided by second term, fourth term divided by third term, and so on and so forth. Three divided by one is three. Nine divided by three is three. 27 divided by 9 is also 3. So that means that after 27, the next term is 81. Because if I divide 81 by 27, which is the fifth divided by the fourth, I will get 3. And 3 is the common ratio. Okay? The same principle we apply here also. 1 over 3 divided by 1 is 1 over 3. 1 over 9 divided by 1 over 3 is 1 over 3. Look at it. 1 over 9 divided by 1 over 3, okay? This division will turn to multiplication. We have 1 over 9 times 3 all over 1. 3 here is 1. 3 here is 3. 1 times 1 is 1. 3 times 1 is 3. If we do the same, 1 over 27 divided by 1 all over 9, it will give us 1 over 3. So you can go on and on to determine the common ratio of a geometric progression. You can do that for this and get the answer, okay? But this is just to tell you what a geometric progression is. So we'll now talk about the nth term of a geometric progression. The nth term of a geometric progression is given by the formula that says u sub n is equal to a times arrow to the power of n minus one. All right, where u sub n is the word nth term. A is the first term. A is always first term, whether arithmetic or geometric. Arrow is the common ratio. That is the second term divided by what? The first term which must be equal to the third term divided by the second term, and so on and so forth. So let's apply this formula now to solve some problems. In this example, I want to determine the tenth term of the series, two, four, eight, okay? By inspection, you can see that multiply two by two to get four, multiply four by two to get eight. That means if I multiply eight by two, the next term will be 16. So I can actually keep multiplying each term to get the next term, all right? But let's use the formula approach, okay? The tenth term is what we are looking for. That will be u sub 10, all right? The first term of this progression is two. Okay, what is the common ratio? Four divided by two is two. Eight divided by four is two. So the common ratio is two because it is common for all. Remember the nth term formula that says u sub n is equal to a arrow to the power of n minus 1. That means u sub 10, which is the 10th term, 
is equal to what's a two times arrow is two to the power of okay we didn't look for something n what will be n because our formula has the parameter n n will be 10 because we are looking for the 10th term so n is 10 i have 10 minus 1 so this is equal to 2 times 2 to the power of 10 minus 1 is 9 by the law of indices this is 2 to the power of 1 so i can say 2 to the power of 1 plus what 9 because 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 1 and what would that give me 2 to the power of 10 so i can either leave my answer like this or break it down 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 1024 right so whichever one is correct all right let's use the formula approach to answer this question we are to determine the seventh term of the progression one half comma one and one half four and one half thirteen and one half we are looking for the number seven of this progression so what will it be u sub seven is what we are looking for okay the first term which is a is one half all right our n will be equal to seven since it is the seventh term okay so what is the common ratio now the common ratio is second term divided by first term okay let's see that one and one half we can actually say this is two times one two plus one three so the second term here is three over two two times one is two plus one is three three all over two divided by one half so this is equal to three all over two the division will turn to multiplication and the reciprocal of this is taken two all over one two cancels two so what do we have now three okay if we do same four and one half divided by one and one half we'll get three and if we divide this by this we're also going to get three the common ratio of this progression is three so let's go ahead and calculate for u sub seven u sub seven is equal to a arrow to the power of allow me to write six because if I write n minus 1, n is 7. 7 minus 1 is actually 6. So this is the seventh term of the progression. In this case, what's a? a is 1 half. What's the common ratio? 3 to the power of what? 6. So this is equal to half times 3 to the power of 6 is 729. So we have 729 divided by what? 2. Oh, this is an improper fraction. So let's break it down. 729 divided by 2 is 364 remainder 1. So we have 364 whole number 1 over 2. Okay, so this is the seventh term of the progression. All right. The first term of a GP is 4, and the sixth term is 128. We are asked to determine the eighth term, okay? We are given that the first term is 4, a is equal to 4. The sixth term is what? 128. That means u sub 6 itself is equal to 128. Ask a question, what concerns the sixth term and the eighth term? Now, we are asked to determine the eighth term which is u sub 8. Check. The eighth term of a progression, u sub 8, using the nth term formula for GP, will be a over 8 minus 1, which is 7. Okay? a is 4. I know that. But arrow is unknown. And this is where this sixth term has a value. Now, they said that the sixth term is 128. The system will be a arrow to the power of 5 because n is 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. And this a arrow to the power of 5, which is the sixth term, they said it is equal to what? 128. So this is equal to 128. The first term is 4. Okay? Just watch. 
4 r root to the power of 5 equal to 128. So I will divide both sides by what? 4 to get arrow. 4 will cancel 4. All right, arrow to the power of 5 is equal to what? 128 divided by 4 is 32. 32. We are looking for the common ratio now. Now, see something. This is an equation, an initial equation. Arrow is raised to the power of 5 at the left-hand side. 32 here is at the right-hand side. I know that 32 is equal to 2 to the power of 5. Okay? So, what can you see now? The powers are the same. So, it means that the base are also the same. Okay? It means that the common ratio is equal to what? 2. Well, alternatively, you can just, from here, take the fifth truth of both sides. If you take the fifth truth of 32, you are going to obtain 2. Okay, this is just a faster way to do it. The common ratio is 2. So, having known what the value of the common ratio is, can we now go ahead and calculate for the eighth term that we are asked to find? Yes, we can. The eighth term, as you can see there, u sub 8 is equal to 8 times arrow to the power of 7. Our a remains 4. That was 4 times arrow is 2 to the power of what? 7. Okay? Let's do a little algebraic simplification here. 4 is 2 squared. Then times 2 to the power of 7. So I can just write the answer as... 2 to the power of, by the law of indices, this is 2 plus 7 because the bases are the same. That is 2 to the power of 9. So is that we write it as 2 to the power of 9 or we simplify? What is the value of 2 to the power of 9? That is 512. So the eighth term is 512 or you can say 2 to the power of 9. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep supporting by subscribing, like the video, and share to your friends and to your classmates. I'll see you in the next one.